Hello, my name is Edagram, and welcome back to Skyrim. Varingar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb built by the ancient Nords. Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlord. Oh no, many were killed, of course, but many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reef. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some cross salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the home is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt.
say Helgen got hit by a dragon. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but... The Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Uh, yeah, the, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's cloth. You could? got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. All right, then. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. See ya.
guys wondered why I didn't jump at that. But I don't get scared that easily. So. Sucks to be you. <laughs> okay. That's all I can muster. This is going to be the end of the episode. I'm actually going to do a little bit something off the screen. Like get a companion and then come right back here. Because um, I can carry a little bit more with somebody else with me. But uh, yeah, guess we'll just find out what goes on. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.